Welcome back to the Barbershop 9-1. I look good. Long. Yep, and it was your man, Big Drew. That's Big. me. You can't hardly see me back here. Because he, he's dark. Right? That I'm proud of that. <laughs> Darkness is. Darkness is. J-Rock. Should have never gave y'all money. Boom. <laughs> and the one and only Raw Dog. Oh, it's like that? Oh, oh. Oh. All right, hey. let's do it. All right, so today's top five ride along is all about the top five TV dads. Because Father's, Father's Day, Day. Yes, yeah. Father's Day is coming up. And you know what? My pet peeve real quick to get into it. I want Father's Day to always be celebrated by the fathers. Or, uh, you know, like, I want you to celebrate fathers. Let's see where you're going with this. Yes, I am gonna, I'll save it for the show. Oh, uh, okay. I'll save it for my but final I know what you're going to say, though. I'll save it for my final. I feel final. the same way, yes. bro. Yeah. All right, but anyway, but so today we're going to celebrate the top TV fathers, not the top single moms. <laughs> so not one day at a time. <laughs> Am I going to offend people? Should I stop? Not Florida. Oh, not Florida after James yeah, died. Uh, okay. <laughs> broke the plate. And... <laughs> yams, yams, yams. I'm glad you can get it together. Kendrick here. Lamar's album. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar's <laughs> album. <laughs> <laughs> but top five TV dads. So J Rock, you want to kick it off? Sure, I'll kick it off. Uh, honorable mention, I'm gonna go with Dre Johnson Sr. from Blackish. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Joe, Joe Carmichael from The Carmichael Show. Yes. Okay. Those okay. honorable mentions. Those are, good ones. Those are my honorable mentions. Those are good ones. All right. I'm honorable gonna... mentions, in case you haven't seen a ride along in a while, our top five. Or something that Raw Dog doesn't get. I don't care, man. Only me and Jay have the honor yeah. of honorable man. Yeah. That makes y'all sleep at night, whatever. Yes, it okay. does. Keeps you up. Yeah, what you got? All right, coming in at number five. That means I have. <laughs> <laughs> what? Coming in at number five, Carl Winslow from Family Man. Number four. Ooh, I was he was he really a good dad? Was Carl a good dad? Because Eddie got didn't Eddie get whipped on? And what happened to his youngest daughter? Didn't she end up in adult movies? But yeah, think about did. it. Remember, remember when uh, <laughs> she did in real life discredits him? As a TV <laughs> but did, remember when uh, when Eddie's uh, had the car and he got it tricked out and then he had it stolen? Yeah. Teach him a lesson, right there. A life lesson. He abused his authority as a cop. Great. Okay. But then he also had Eddie's back when uh, Eddie was being racially profiled because of the car. Carl. What about the fact that he let uh, he used to let Urkel just in the house with his daughter? And let him call him Carl instead of Mr. Winslow. Dude was all up on his daughter all the time. He did nothing. But he also took in his nephew, and Richie, he never and the Adopt a Kid 3J. To a decent weight program. Ever. All right, keep going. <laughs> coming in at number four. Uh, <laughs> coming in at number four, <laughs> Danny Tanner, Full House. Oh. Danny. You know, even Single though uh, Bob Saget was coked out and high during the show, think about his character, Danny Tanner. His wife passed okay. away in a horrific car accident, and he took care of his three I daughters. I didn't either. Yeah. Because I didn't really watch it like that. Yeah, but it, what was creepy was that his best friend and his brother-in-law lived in the house. <laughs> you were the old jokes. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Anyway. Yeah, but Danny Tanner's coming in at number four. Uh, number three, I'm gonna go with uh, Philip Drummond. Different strokes. All right, you know good one. Was, you know, he, he took he took in two, two brothers from yeah. Uptown Harlem. And yeah, we know the story. Took, about okay, it. just keep it moving. I like the backstory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, is so he a cop or is he security? Oh, he's security. Diamond security. Okay, diamonds in my neck. Okay. Uh, coming in at number hey, two. He coming out like he gonna do something. Look at look at look at. Number two, <laughs> Al Bundy. <laughs> Al Bundy a, didn't have much money. Dad? Well, he yeah. uh, on his salary as a shoe oh, salesman. Wow, you know what I'm saying? They he made it. He made he kept the lights on. Even Let's though stop looking at him like that, Drew. <laughs> he kept the Why lights. Why you looking at him, Drew? What? <laughs> you looking up like look. <laughs> hey man, leave man. Leave you man. need to commit to it. If he's gonna come over and say something, do it. Just come over and say something. Don't, <laughs> he don't did kind of look at us, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> like we was up to something, right? Go ahead, keep going. Uh, uh, security. Name, uh, Al Bundy. <laughs> Coming in number two, he kept the lights on in the house, even though Peg didn't cook him anything. He had to fend for his own food, and you know he just lived that horrible life. But he, he was lucky to have Peg. He really he was. Al was, was nasty. Was out of his, out of his Al was nasty, man. It, he was the nasty man. And coming in at number one, Philip Banks, the first Prince of Bel Oh, I forgot about Phil. Uncle, know, Phil. Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. You know, we, yeah. as, if you followed the, if you followed the show, it just happened. It just happened. Oh, bull! <laughs> You the man! You the man! Uh, <laughs> so, how come he don't want me? And that is my list. 
Oh boy! Oh <laughs> boy! Why didn't he get an uh, 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 Emmy for that role? Come on, man, Uncle he Phil. He stood in front of the mirror several times and practiced. Uncle Phil practiced that line. Oh boy! Oh boy! No, that's not believable. No, hold on. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, that's not what. That's not what Uncle Phil wants. More right. anger, less spit. There you go. And that is my list. Who's All next? Right. I can go. All right. All right. So coming in honorable mention: Dan Connor, Michael Cow. Uh, and Stephen Keaton and Jason Seaver. Oh, hey, those are man. all honorable mentions. I got, I got Jason Seaver on my list. All right. And number five, I got a two way. Uh, then, <laughs> I'm dude, sorry. That's just how I touch. <laughs> I'm sorry. You I'm people. sorry, man. I'm sorry. All right. I got Bernie Mac and Philip Banks tied. Oh, uh, okay. Both of them took in, you know, kids that wasn't theirs and, and did the best they could. That's From true. the inner city. They're both yeah. uncles Uncle Bernie, Uncle Phil. Yeah. True, All true. right, number four. I just said we was gonna only celebrate dads, but they was dads in their own right. Though. They were they were dads. Oh, not, yeah. not Bernie. Though. But he was a dad. I guess though. Bernie Mac shouldn't be on the list. No, he, he was, was a dad. A, does he count? Yeah, he's he an was, uncle. Yeah, but he he was in as a dad. They called yeah, him uncle. Play, yeah, right. he so technically, father yeah. Figure. yeah, father figure. All yeah. right, I got number four, Fred G. San, uh, <clears throat> Sanford. You better stop looking at my list. Say Fred Shut G. Flintstone. That much. I know that dog on my side. Looking at my list. Looking uh, over my shoulders. Number three, James Evans. Man, come on, man. Why did your voice get low when you said number three? <laughs> I don't know what's going on back puberty. You want to do puberty? <laughs> you got a flashback like James is whooping you. <laughs> <laughs> you know he was asking. <laughs> you know he was asking for in Florida? <laughs> and he literally said, don't mind if I, I do. do. <laughs> he literally said that. Is that where you got that yeah. from? <laughs> uh, number don't two. mean to oblige it. Sorry. Number two, Al Bundy, and number one, Homer Simpson. Uh, Homer is my idol as a father. I'm sorry, I look up to him. So there you go. Well, you there you go. Not a real person. Bless your heart. I parent that way. So, so never. I'll keep that one to myself. I can't say that. I'll wait till when we turn the camera off. You gotta wait. Go ahead. Number five. Remember Kim's daddy on a different world, Richard Roundtree? Yeah. Yeah. That was a father right there. Oh. He was a cop. I remember he showed up at the at the uh, homecoming. Yeah, yeah, about yeah. About to whip them legs. Yeah, Officer Reese. And he put on punishment from long distance. That's a real He's father. Paying right for there. school, so man. yeah. Number four, Jason Seaver. He already said that. Why Jason Seaver? Uh, I like the way Jason was the one of the coolest guys. He never got angry, man. He always had that saying, like, hey, well, whatever. Jason was like a drunk daddy to I would me. I say, yeah, was he a little bit just, yeah. not, not completely, just not completely. Bliss, like, he had some brandy. Like, yeah, like, like, he, like, the kids. like he, he took a couple of hits before the kids came home. Uh, number three, Fred Sanford. Number two, Cliff Huxtable. Now, oh. let me say, all right, Bill Cliff Cosby? Huxtable. Not Bill Cosby. <laughs> Cliff Huxtable. Cliff Huxtable and Bill Cosby, two different people. Yeah. He's Cliff Huxtable. Okay. And uh, number one, I'm going with James Evans. There is no better dad than than James Evans. Andrew, you know him, bro? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. I, oh, God. I can't. I was. Uh, continue. Uh, uh, There's no one. I went to There's the no show. other father like James I Evans. To, when I was a kid, I didn't like James. But as a father, I totally get it, man. I totally get it. And it was wrong for the producers of the Good Times to kill him off because he wanted more money than JJ. That was wrong. James Evans could have been the he could have been the best, man. He could have been the best. With them tight corduroys on and his nose all flared up and that jacked up, you know, hair thing that was going on. Dynamite! And he hey, was man. young when that was going on. Like, he was, he was like way younger old. than Florida. He was way younger than Florida. And every time and he's a great actor because he he treated Florida like she was fine. And poor. I mean, the fact that he was able to pull that off. I mean, have y'all seen Florida? You know, huh? You know. With the orange and reds and stuff. It, all right, so you gonna tell me Florida's fine? R.I.P. Esther. Are you gonna tell me Florida's fine? She's beautiful. Come on, Drew. You gotta be. You gonna be politically correct now, sir? But he, he treated her like she was fine, and I was like, that's acting right there. Cause you know, in the back of his mind, he wanted to hook up with Lola. That's my conspiracy. This is all your stuff. <laughs> You've had a lot of time to think about that. I watch a lot of good times. It's like the whole Martin and Martin and Pam thing. That's what James really wanted to hook up with, with Lona. I mean, stop looking around like the police looking for you, Drew. No, nah, I was looking at he was exchange. They was doing the baby exchange. You can see where he was handing over the diapers and stuff like that. You know, you cheap people. Yeah, I seen that. 
co-parenting in this yeah. class. I done made that. Hey, meet me at the quick trip, which is halfway from where y'all live. Oh, wow. Yeah. We still got that. We should have just turned the camera over there. Nah. Yeah. All right. All right what, we out. Well, we out. That's the top five dads. That's good for Father's Day. Hey, I, I did that. you want something from the store? Yeah. Okay. But I'm scared to get a drink from somebody who put he Cliff Huxley on their top. <laughs> <laughs> Cliff Huxley is not Bill Cosby, sir. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, check out our show. We have a new show this week. Um, it's gonna be. It's gonna have. A, we're gonna have a lot of stuff on it. I don't know. Kevin Durant. We're gonna talk about him. Yeah, yeah we sure are gonna talk about him a we're lot. Gonna talk about Bob Stoops. Yeah. Uh, what else? We Some got conspiracies there? going on. We're gonna on. talk about Derek Fisher. Oh Mr. yeah, Mr. Derek. Yeah, Mr. So Derek. Make huh? sure you check out the Barbershop Nine One Eight podcast on Buzz Sprout. What else we got? iTunes. Tune in. Podcast. Auto, WB, Auto UPN. <laughs> Would you stop it? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we out. See y'all later, man. Oh. Sis, do you want something to eat, bro?